Welcome back to Carolina Country Cooking and Barbecue. My name's Kenny. Tonight we're going to make a uh, broccoli chicken bake roll. Uh, found this recipe on the internet uh, through Facebook. So tonight we're going to try this and you're going to come along with that journey. Alright guys, for this cook we're going to use the Weber kettle. We've got coals banked up in the back. We don't really need a whole lot of time for this cook. We got a chimney of uh, coals heating up in the uh, chimney. As soon as we get this all set up, we'll be bu we'll be back with you. Okay, everybody. While we've got the grill heating up, we're going to go ahead and do the setting up for it. For our chicken bake roll. I'm gonna tell you something, that picture looks so good. Sounds like it's gonna be really good. So anyway, you wanna get some raw broccoli. One tree looks like it should be enough. And you want to break it off into florets, like I'm doing right now, because you want it to cover the entire line of chicken. And what it what they call for is three chicken breasts, and you want to flatten them out, which we will do. But you want to pick off as much broccoli as you can, little florets, and they are going to lay on top of the chicken. So I'm going to continue breaking these off, getting this ready. And then as soon as we get the chicken laid out, we'll show you how that goes together and how we get the broccoli in there and show you the baby bell cheese that's going to go inside of it. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going to get these chicken breasts ready. We just bought some chicken breasts from a local grocery store. We're going to lay them out here. I think three is enough or you want to try four? I would do a fourth one. I'm going to leave the one left or whatever. But I mean, we could put that the small one. We could put them all out there. We got enough cheese. Alright, let's do it. Get rid of all four of them. <laughs> We're going to lay this one right here for right now. See how it goes. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Chicken breast, breast laid out. I can't even talk tonight. Let me take off some of this fat. Put this in the trash. Get rid of it. I'm gonna lay out. Another piece of parchment paper or wax paper. We'll cover them up, and we're going to take a rolling pin and we're going to smash these bad boys out. And you can beat them if you want them. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. kind of consistently the same thickness. Right, we got the chicken breast 
beat out. Now we're gonna. I'm just gonna kind of fold these over for right now. Lay them out of the way. And you want to lay a sheet of bacon out the length of the chicken because it's going to be rolled up with the chicken, cheese, and broccoli hugged up in between it. Bacon's a little bit longer than my, than my uh, I'm alternating the bacon because there's a thin end and a thick end. So that way it pretty much covers everything. We're going to get this bacon lined out and we'll be right back with you. Alright guys, we're going to season these up. Tonight we're just using simple salt and pepper. You have the Very gently, not hickory smoked bacon. There's the salt. Let's throw some pepper on there. Gonna be kind of easy on the pepper because we have chitlins. Our children's not real big on pepper. They're not real big on spicy stuff at all. Although I'm, I'm one of those people that pretty much has to have some kind of hot sauce on everything I eat. Mm -hmm. They they just they're not that fanciful with it. All right. So, let's go ahead and put our broccoli on. You're going to have to have a bag of baby bell cheese. They unwrapped them, and you want it the length of the chicken, and he is going to go ahead and center those in the middle. And not exactly in the middle, but it'll be all right. Close enough. Needless to say, this is going to be cheesy. <laughs> Let's get all this set up, and we'll be right back with you. Um, Okay, folks, now he's rolling this up, and trust me when I say it takes precision and planning to do this. So, and once you get it rolled, you want to get the cellophane wrapped around it completely and roll it back and forth to get it completely sealed up like he's doing right now. he's doing back and forth or consistently like he's doing right now. So your cellophane is tight. And then you have a perfect beautiful roll like that. We're going to stick this in the refrigerator until the Weber kettles up the temperature. Alright guys, got dark on us again. We're going to throw this uh, broccoli chicken roll on the Weber kettle and start getting her cooked up. <coughs> we got her on the Weber kettle. We'll give you a little update shortly once she starts to cook. We got the temperature up about 400 degrees. 
<clears throat> Take about an hour to cook it. We'll be back with you. Broccoli chicken roll. We're going to give her a cut, cut up here and see what is what. Mm. Why don't you turn the other side of it this way so you can see the... <coughs> oh, yeah. That, that just looks really, really good. We're going to give it a taste test. There you go. This is a recipe you want to try. That is really, really good. We didn't season it with anything but salt and pepper. That is good. As you can see on the cutting board, it's good and juicy. It, 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 it is. Let me take another it's one. I gotta have another one. <laughs> Is it worth cooking on the grill and set it in the oven, babe? Oh, yes. Mm. You're making my mouth water. That is definitely something you guys need to try. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, you get any. Anytime we do a video, you get the uh, first chance to watch it. And uh, leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button and share this video. I'm, tell you that, I'm, I'm going in for another bite. Okay, folks. Okay. I'm getting off here because if I don't, my hubby going to eat all this. So y'all have a good night and bon appetit.